Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about um, how to manipulate uh, square roots with addition and subtraction. All right, first of all, the thing you've got to recognize is that uh, this is the square root of 3, and there are five of them right here. And here we have the square root of 3, and we have two of them. So think of it like, as, as like denominations of money. Okay, so let's say these are both like $20 bills. If I have five 20s and I have two 20s, then I have seven 20s. Don't get all mixed up with what this means. All you really need to worry about is if they're the same. It's simplified. It's an irrational number. What it's actually equal to doesn't matter. All that you need to know is you have five of them and you're adding two of them, so that's seven. Um, the rules for subtraction would work the, way, the same way. So let's say we had, let's say we had this three times the square root of seven minus um, the square root of seven. Well, here we have three of these, and we're subtracting one of them. Yes, the these and then them, they're the square roots of 7, but it doesn't matter what they are. All that matters is that they are the same. So 3 apples minus 1 apple would be 2 apples. Or, for example, if we were going to do um, 4 times the square root of 6 minus 11 times the square root of 6. Again, uh, these are the same. They're like terms. Um, another way you can think about it is, is like this. We'll come back to this one in just a minute. But like, let's say we had 3 times 5 uh, minus 7 times 5. Um, that is the same as 5 times, oops, sorry about that, 3 minus 7. And I'll write it again for you. These two things are the same. You see, this is negative 4. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Here, 15 minus 35, that's also negative 20. So what I'm showing you is that you're actually combining fives. Three fives minus seven fives. Well, that would be negative four fives, which is negative 20. We're doing the same thing here. The difference is we know what five is. We can do some arithmetic with five. We can multiply by five. We can't really multiply by the square root of six because it's irrational. You can't write it out. But what we can do is we can say how many of them we have. 4 minus 11, I hope that's negative 7, times the square root of 6. And that's it. That's all you're going to do. Now what about things like this? What if they're different? This is literally a case of apples and oranges. Like, you don't know what x is and you don't know what y is, so you can't add them. So if you were asked to simplify this, all you would do is just rewrite it. Now if you were doing estimations, you could use a calculator to come up with some decimals and whatever, but if, if it's exact, then that's all you're going to do. Now what ends up happening sometimes is you might end up with something like this. Um, okay, uh, at Just a quick glance, they don't look like they're like terms, but it turns out they are because this one is 3 times the square root of 3 because it's 9 times 3. And so now you have 6 square roots of 3. A couple things uh, to watch out for. Let's say we had this. Here's a common mistake, OK? So what I'm about to do is wrong. It's a common mistake. What people do is they say, oh, well, that's 7. And then they either add or multiply the radicands and then, oh, and then they look and they say, oh, well, that's just 2. So this is 7 times 2, so it's, it's 14 which is, of course, wrong. The right way to do it is that we have square roots of 2, we have 4 square roots of 2, and 3 square roots of 2, that makes 7. So there. And uh, that's how it works. I hope this video was helpful, and uh, good luck.